at DevOps Belgium, and I'm joined by Yakov, who's given a deep dive and a conference talk about Angular. So I heard that Angular is not Angular JS anymore; it's now just Angular. That's correct. Uh, this is Angular now, and uh, to be more precise, it's Angular 5. It was released a week ago, and yesterday I gave three-hour session for just to show people from scratch how we can build an app, and we did. Today I'll give a shorter version of this talk uh, for Java developers. We'll be using Spring Boot Server on Java, and then Angular will be talking to, to Java. What new features do we have in Angular 5? Angular 5 is mainly about performance improvements, about making smaller bundles when you deploy the app, and uh, s uh, switching from Angular 4 to Angular 5 is very easy. It takes uh, five minutes for a very simple app and maybe 10, 15 minutes for the larger ones, so it's very easy. How easy is it to get started building an Angular app from scratch? How to start? Mm. Well, first of all, you need to uh, use a tool, excellent tool from Angular team called Angular CLI. Uh, you install it and you run a command, ng, new, and name of the project, and in a minute you get a project up and running. Of course, it's a very simple project, and you need to start adding stuff to it, but it's, it's a no event to, to start a new application. You need to learn Angular, sure enough, but uh, to start, it's, it's pretty easy. Is it easy to learn for someone who's never used Angular before, say a Java developer? Is what's it, the is learning? Is it easy? Uh, I wouldn't say that it's easy, but I would say it's, it requires some time. Uh, what is good for Java developers? A, we use TypeScript language, which is very similar to Java in terms of syntax. The language is very easy to learn. But the API, the artifacts of Angular, what is available in the API, it's a big framework. It's not a small library, so it takes time to learn. You need to learn how to arrange uh, client-side navigation using router, and there are tons of different features, <coughs> how dependency injection works. Uh, how to create production build versus development build. Uh, you need to learn how to intercommunicate with components. So there are things to learn, but it's uh, just a matter of time rather than being overly complex. And when you build apps in Angular um, and you're looking at how to compose your applications, do you do it based on components or do you look at the page you're trying to build? Right, you, uh, would, Angular is a component-based framework, so it consists of components. So you have a root component with child components, versus with each component ha can have its own children, and so on. So you need to look at the prototype, or maybe the image that is created by the uh, web designer, and you need to s start splitting in your mind, splitting this page into components. Then you can give components for development for different developers, and bring them back together. The other important thing is which UI library to use, because you want to make your application as pretty as possible and modern looking. So there are different options. Uh, one of them is, this is something that we use in our project, Angular Material. It's an excellent library of UI component that uh, follow material design principles set by Google. It has only like 30 components for now, so we are adding additional library uh, for missing components. Some people keep using a popular library called Bootstrap, uh, and there is like maybe half a dozen other libraries for UI components, so you can pick and choose what you like. Are there, so you mentioned that there are some components that are missing. What components do you personally want to see? Well, in the large uh, enterprise apps, uh, a powerful data table is required. There is data table in the Angular material, but maybe it's not as powerful. Like rich edit controls, communication with maps, uh, file uploader, all these things exist. For example, we use a library called PrimeNG. They have 70 components. So we add components from there, so we use a mix. Thank you very much.